Now, sports director Brad Johansson with the stories behind the scores. Evening, everyone. Four straight losses, struggling offense, tired bullpen. Still, the Reds come home with a game and a half lead in the Central, facing the bottom dwellers in Milwaukee. First to three tonight, in synergy against the Brew Crew. Reds load the bases in the first three. One to Adam Dunn. Oh, you fed him. Granny's going hunting. Moonshot to right for his first career grand slam. Sack fly makes it five zip after one. Joey Hamilton let the Brewers back in. Then he pulled a hamstring. Brower in to help. Todd Walker with a nice leap and grab on Sexton to end the fifth. Five four. Casey with a breakout night. Three double. Doubles. This a big single and a six to score Clark and Walker 7-4 Reds. Adam Dunn bases loaded in the eighth. Could he do it again? No. Zach Fly makes it 8-5. Graves would come in to shut things down. Losing streak is over, folks. 8-5 is your final. It was 2-0 and bases were loaded and, you know, he didn't want to get to 3-0. So, uh, you know, I kind of figured that it'd be a fastball and, you know, it was. Yeah, I like to think everybody's coming around and, and, and we're all st starting to click. I mean, I, this will be a big series for us as far as, uh, you know, hopefully we can get the bats going and, uh, and get back on the streak. Yeah, we, we put them out there, um, uh, you know, had some big hits when we needed them. And uh, nice night for us. Big pickup. Yeah, it is. Before the game, Ken Griffey Jr. didn't want to talk about his possible return this week from a knee injury. Instead, he lashed out at the treatment he believes he's getting from Cincinnati fans, some of it stemming from a sports authority poll eight days ago. Our poll asked the question, who should sit when Jr. returns? And 74% of more than 800 callers picked Jr., who was quoted as saying the poll set him up to fail and that he's treated worse in Cincinnati than in Seattle, calling the Queen City a little New York, adding he's tired of people taking shots at him. On the board tonight, the Cubbies nip the cards. That's good for the Reds. Pirates leading the D-backs and Randy Johnson. Tribe beating the O's. Red Sox over the D-Rays. Twins top the Tigers and the Rangers. Tonight looking for more tonight. Casey with two aboard. Ground ball looks like two. No one covering first. So Larkin makes it one zip. Two aboard for Adam Dunn and Deja Vu. Another first inning moonshot. Three run blast. His eighth. Eight RBI in two days. Then we go to the third. Sean Casey looking for home run number one. First time since last August 24th. Got it. Five zip. How about Elmer Descends looking for RBIs? Nice shot to right center. Kearns and Walker score seven zip in the fourth. Descends getting some defensive help from Mr. Dunn as well. Nice layout on Jenkins. Elmer pitched well too. Seven innings, five hits, two runs. Reds make it two straight. Eight two year final. Here, it seems like when, when the weather's hot, you know, if you get it up in there, it'll, it'll go. And, you know, that's, that's what happened yesterday and that's what happened today. Elm really did a great job of, you know, taking the 7 nothing league and not, not relaxing at all. He really just kept, kept, kept with his game and, and pitched great for us. Hey, I feel strong, you know, I feel feeling pretty good all, all the game. So I just try to throw a strike like I'm here with my moving and my pitching. Well, the junior pull frenzy took on a national scope today as uh, nine days after 12 Sports Authority released 74 percent of more than 800 callers said junior should sit when he returns. ESPN picked up the poll nationally today and the poll invited callers to pick which outfielder among Dunn, Kearns, Encarnacion, Griffey and junior. Uh, or I should say junior, should come back. More than 120,000 voters cast their ballot on the website. 47% pick junior, 34% Kearns, 15% Encarnacion, 3.6 for Adam Dunn. But regardless of any viewers or readers poll, junior will be playing when he's healthy. Junior is a big factor of this team. Believe me, he is coveted by me. Okay. And, and we'll work everything out. Uh, you know, that'll be a job for me, a tough job but for me, but a pleasant one because it means a lot of people are doing well. Results from today's 12 and touch poll coming up. Plus, touch poll results for tonight. 47% say the local media treat Junior fairly. 53% say they do not. On the second question, 51% say local fans treat Junior fairly and 49% say local fans are not fair to him thanks to the nearly 2,000 callers. Now sports director Brad Johansson with the stories behind the scores. Evening everyone. Winners of seven of their last eight at home. Reds looking to make it a three game sweep of the Brew Crew and increase their lead in the Central with Jose on the mound. How hot are the Reds outfielders right now? Encarnacion in the first. A Juan gone. His ninth. Tied the game at one but Riho didn't have the stuff tonight. Jenkins two aboard in the third. 
back on 4-1 Brewers. It was 5-2, bottom of five. Austin Kearns, man of mystery. Two aboard. Ah, uh, goodbye. We're all tied up at five. His third, hitting 400. 6-5, bottom of six. Base is juiced for Adam Dunn. Ali Ali oxen free. You all come home. Everyone's in. 11 RBI, done in three games. Oh, 9-5 Reds. Bottom seven, Reggie Taylor, get out of here. Two-run shot, first of his career, 11-5. Next batter, Austin Kearns. Brian Millette goes head hunting. Dunn comes from the on-deck circle to protect his man. Bench is clear, no punches thrown. Millette tossed, next inning. Brower, just off the plate. Sexton gets offended. Oh, I'm sorry, give me a break. Reds add three more. Encarnacion with a rip in the eighth. Gookie will score. Casey leaves the game with a strained hamstring. This team's on fire, though, 14-5 the final. Two on, nobody out. I was, you know, just looking to to hit the ball hard. I wasn't trying to hit a home run, but uh, you know, he left the pitch up and you know, just took advantage of it. It's like we're never out of it. I don't care if we're down ten. I mean, it seems like the attitude never changes on the bench. I mean, you know, last year we'd get down and we you come in and then you know everybody's heads were down. But, you know, this year it's. It's, 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 totally, it's like night and day. I don't really believe that uh, anybody's trying to hit Kearns in the head. I, you know, I, I really don't want to believe that, and, and I don't. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, when you're a young player, the people are going to pitch you inside. There are some Reds hitters feeling like headhunting targets in recent weeks, and yet it's the Reds pitchers the league seems to be paying attention to. Gabe White, the latest to be fined. The lefty is appealing his fine from Major League Baseball for allegedly pitching this one dangerously close to Barry Bonds' head. White insisted he didn't intend to throw that, and threatening on, uh, stated on Wednesday, the possibility that I may be fined for throwing that pitch is ridiculous. But you know what? Felix Rodriguez gets fined $1,000 for hitting Casey. That one may not be appealed. All right, on the board, cards by one, Rockies blank disposed, Phillies on top, and Dodgers.